Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. My name is Kaylee Hammock and today we're going to do a starry eye tutorial. Oh hush hush puppy. I'll be right back. Hello everybody. My name is Kaylee Hammock and I guess you would know that if you're watching this. Anyways, today I'm going to do a very simple little eye for you. I thought that I would try to do some more stuff that actually you may want to wear um, instead of just my costumey uh, stage makeup. So I'm gonna take something that I wore on stage and make it into more of an everyday kind of look. So got these off of Amazon. Let's see what we can do with this. Scotch tape and a little bit of spirit gum. What I'm hoping to achieve today is we're going to do a starry cat eye and um, we're gonna use scotch tape to actually start that line. So I like to take scotch tape, tap it on your fingers kind of like this. It'll make it a little bit easier to pull off and not painful. I like to follow the line of my rim like that. Shazam! Okay, first one always goes on perfectly. Second one, I sometimes struggle with. Even enough. So, now that we have this down, I'm gonna take out some shadows. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build the shadow base and then we're gonna start gluing the stars on our eyes. So take whatever palette you have. All I'm looking for is a cream, something close to your skin tone, maybe like a shade or two lighter, if possible. Um, if not, you good, you good. Now we're gonna take this little bit of the jawbreaker, the highlighter aspect of it. In the middle of the eye, a little bit towards the center. I like to put it on this side of the middle of my eye. I also like to take a little bit and put it up top, right below your eyebrow. Just add a little bit of highlight. Okay, very subtle. So, now we're going to take whatever your color is that is probably closer to a contour color for you, a uh, bronzer maybe. Um, what I'm going to use is Dawn, because I like that lighter shade. I don't want anything too dramatic for this, because the stars will shine more. So I'm using Anastasia Subculture. I'm using the color Dawn. Voila! Okay, now we're going to take a smaller brush, whichever brush you have, that would work more so to do, say, eyeliner. Um, let's see. I have this little brush and these dope little uh, packages I bought off of Amazon to keep my brushes in. We're going to go into um, possibly a black to a brown. So I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath palette that I have and I'm going to take two darker colors right here. This and this, brown and black. I'm gonna start with brown on the inside. So as you can see, I'm putting just a little bit down here. This really isn't going to be seen very much. I'm doing it so as soft as I possibly can with this little brush, but this is just gonna add a little bit of a base underlying the stars itself. Okay, so here comes the hard part. Doing this with fake nails on. But we are women. We are fierce. And I can do this. So these are some new stars I just bought. The ones I used on my last look were a little too big and were beautiful in the look, but whenever I'd smile and all this would crinkle up, it was very painful. So I bought these smaller ones to see if they're going to be not painful, but just cute. I'm gonna take my spirit gum. We're going into the stars now. Now you can take a Q-tip with uh, some of the cotton pulled off, or you can take the back of a tweezer and just chip it off later, but I'm going to take this glue right here, and I'm going to put it where I want my winged eyeliner to be, where I want the stars to actually stay. A little bit of spirit gum goes a long way, so just remember that. To make this a little easier, 
I'm actually going to apply with my fingertips and see if it works. If it doesn't, I will figure it out. This may make a mess, but it's like table confetti. You can vacuum it up. I want to go out and dance. Are we somewhat even? I like that I ask y'all that as if you're gonna answer back through the video. Every time. Okay, as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, <laughs> I'm a little lopsided, but we're finally to the point now that we can either go extreme and do a lot more, or what we can do is fleck off some of these that are a little higher up in odd places, make it more of a defined cat eye, and call it a day. So I'm thinking, I'm close to calling it a day. I'm going to take a little bit more spirit gum and dot certain places so that I get a full look. I think this is what my mom said, or what she meant when she said that guys like girls that are starry eyed. I'm working on it. Just casually trying to salvage the stars. So people try to save the world, I'm trying to save the stars. And the world too. Please recycle. Now that we have them mostly all on, this is the magic part. Mm. Now I'm gonna go through with my tweezers, fleck off any that I think kind of distract from the whole eyeliner, star look, and then see what we're doing. I feel like I need to put a few over here. I'm gonna go back in, put a few more over here. I'll be honest, this look is a little messier than I had originally planned for it to be. The first time I did it, I think I had a better system. You! Okay. This may be tedious right now, but I'm going to live for this look once I get it done. Okay. Voila. Now we're gonna throw a lash on, and we're done, baby. We done with this. It's all over me. I think they're on. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in and just put a little bit of shadow underneath my eye. While they are dry, those baby girls are drying on my eyelids. Now, I may actually go with a yellow, because why not? I feel like this is a good look for, say, sewing your country's flag, or maybe making lasagna. I don't know. Very easy look as you can tell after I've almost poked my eye out 15 times. Mm. 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 Okay. Ladies and gents, we have done it. We have created successfully a look using table confetti. I don't know why I have an accent now, but I do. So, this wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done, but if you're willing to put up with a little bit um, of star shine around your house, it was really cute. It's lasted, I think, um, at least through this application. And I'm gonna see how it goes now. So let's see if I like it, but let me know if y'all like this. Let me know if it helps you in any way or if you tried it and if you succeeded or if you failed. If you want to check out any other videos of mine, music, makeup, life, you can follow me on YouTube at Kaylee Hammock. You can subscribe below or you can go to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and just keep up with us and come hang out with us one day.